on the next Sand City Makeover. Action. Hi, I am Coach Sarah Kay all day for the 45 minute booty boot camp. So um, basically I brought all the competitors in today to do 45 minutes of training. Um, it's a strength training and cardio workout. It's high intensity um, cardio, fitness. We use different muscle groups, biceps, triceps. We did a lot of high intensity cardio. We did some squats, um, doing some workouts in our glute muscles for that booty workout. And then we did some stretching and cool down. So most of the workout consisted of a lot of jump, jump ropes, uh, jumping jacks. We did some leg kickers. We did all kinds of different um, cardio, high intensity Tabata movements. So it was really good. Um, Overall, I think everybody did a really good job considering whether they've done a fitness class like that or not. Um, I've had years of training and I've actually been um, part, like a student of these types of classes for gosh, 10 plus years. Um, I didn't expect everybody to come in and just know all the movements. I did a lot of demonstrating. Um, I think overall, everyone did a really good job. Um, as far as uh, how I felt about it, I feel like I did pretty, a pretty good job being like at least assertive and clear to instruct the class. Um, however, maybe they have a different take on it. Hopefully they got um, uh, overall a good workout from my class and they felt better after they left. So that was the, the whole point of the workout is, you know, basically coming out feeling better than you did going in. They're gonna probably have a lot of sore muscles and things like that, but overall it was good. Okay, and is there anything else that no, I need to? I'm sorry. Yeah, but you, I'm sorry, but just don't look at him when he asks your question. Just stay looking at the camera. Oh, got you. Yeah. I was like, looking yeah, at yeah. your hand. Just, okay. Yeah, my bad. Just stay looking at the camera. Even okay. Was asking. Okay, go ahead. Was there anybody in the competition that stood out or pressed you during the workout? Um, yeah, actually, um, one of the students, or actually competitors, I should say, um, I didn't really catch her name. I want to say her name was Elaine um, or El Elaine or something like that. And I felt like she was always um, very alert and she was very energetic. I would say overall, she's probably the one that stood out the most when I was going through and um, instructing. So I would say that she would be the one. Did you observe any of the participants struggling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I actually um, had a, a few people complain about their brakes not being the exact 10, 10 Mississippis <laughs> on their 10 second break. So I think one of the complaints were, hey, that wasn't an exact 10 seconds. So I know that they felt a little um, maybe out of breath or kind of exhaustion. So yeah, it was, it was a little intense. Do you have any areas that you think that they should improve in when it comes to the fitness? Yeah, absolutely. I think that in part of their improvement is just remembering to breathe when you work out. <laughs> that was another thing that people were holding their breath as, as they were doing, you know, whatever exercise that they were working on. They were just kind of nervous and like maybe overtired or just not thinking it through and not breathing properly because as long as you're breathing um, throughout your workouts, you know your your heart rates are, your heart rate is elevated, but you're also breathing through it, so it allows your body to really condition through the workout. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have any uh, particular performance uh, things that should be going in the future that you can give them advice on to get them better for that? Yeah, I would say just um, trying to stay relaxed throughout the workout is really my best advice. Um, remember, you're having fun with it. It's not always about doing every form like correctly, so to speak. Um, as long as you're watching the demonstration and you're doing, you know, somewhat of a proper formation, um, allowing you to have the most effective workout at the end, you're targeting a specific muscle group. My intention is to make sure that each uh, competitor has the right 
uh, range of motion and they're really targeting that muscle group to have you know overall performance level and rebuilding regenerating that muscle group so I, I guess my most um, uh, my best intention for them is to make sure that they're doing it properly so they can prevent any type of injuries um, in the future and um, also for them to be sure that when they're doing the proper formation that they're not overextending an arm or whatnot so that they can make sure they have like the best effect of their muscle use. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much Sarah. And, uh... We look forward to much more success. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You know why you're here. You know what's happening next. Someone is going to get in the Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer. The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger. Hey yo, the mirror don't lie. Hey yo, the mirror don't lie. Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer. The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger. And yo, the mirror don't lie. If you want the truth, don't close your eyes. Ah! <laughs>